afternoon. Welcome to our celebration of Mass. Today is the Monday in the octave of Easter. So we will sing the Gloria today as part of the Easter time celebration. Please stand. And we'll sing together in the Blue Gather hymnal, the hymn number 540. 540, Jesus Christ is risen today. Let us begin our celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with you. In a moment of silence, let us recognize that we are sinners, that we have encountered the resurrected one. And let us ask God for pardon and peace. And together we pray, I confess Lord. to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words and what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous faults. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us unite ourselves with the choir of angels. Glory to God in the
Let us pray. O God, who give constant increase to your church by new offspring, grant that your servants may hold fast in their lives to the sacrament they have received in faith. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. On the day of Pentecost, Peter stood up with the eleven, raised his voice, and proclaimed, You who are Jews, indeed all of you staying in Jerusalem, let this be known to you, and listen to my words. You who are children of Israel, hear these words. Jesus the Nazarene was a man commended to you by God with mighty deeds, wonders, and signs, which God worked through him in your midst, as you yourselves know. This man, delivered up by the set plan and foreknowledge of God, you killed, using lawless men to crucify him. But God raised him up, releasing him from the throes of death, because it was impossible for him to be held by it. For David says of him, I saw the Lord ever before me. With him at my right hand, I shall not be disturbed. Therefore, my heart has been glad and my tongue has exalted. My flesh, too, will dwell in hope, because you will not abandon my soul to the netherworld, nor will you suffer your Holy One to see corruption. You have made known to me the paths of life. You, fill, you will fill me with joy in your presence. My brothers, one can confidently say to you about the patriarch David that he died and was buried, and his tomb is in our midst to this day. But since he was a prophet and knew that God has sworn an oath to him that he would set one of his descendants upon his throne, he foresaw and spoke of the resurrection of the Christ that neither was he abandoned to the netherworld, nor did his flesh see corruption. God raised this Jesus. Of this we are witnesses. Exalted at the right hand of God, he poured forth the promise of the Holy Spirit that he received from the Father, as you both see and hear. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. Keep me safe, O God, for in you I take refuge. I say to the Lord, my Lord are you. O oh Lord, my allotted portion and my cup, you it is who hold fast my lot. Keep, Keep me safe, O oh God, you are my hope. I bless the Lord who counsels me. Even in the night my heart exhorts me. I set the Lord ever before me. With him at my right hand I shall not be disturbed. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. Therefore, my heart is glad, my soul rejoices, my body too abides in confidence, because you will not abandon my soul to the netherworld, nor will you suffer your faithful one to undergo corruption. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. You will show me the path to life, fullness of joys in your presence, the delights at your right hand forever. 
Keep me safe, O oh God. You are my hope. We stand. The day the Lord has made, let us be glad and rejoice in it. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went away quickly from the tomb, fearful yet overjoyed, and ran to announce the news to his disciples. And behold, Jesus met them on their way and greeted them. They approached, embraced his feet, and did him homage. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go tell my brothers to go to Galilee, and there they will see me. While they were going, some of the car went into the city and told the chief priest all that had happened. The chief priest assembled with the elders and took counsel. Then they gave a large sum of money to the soldiers, telling them, You are to say, His disciples came by night and stole him while we were asleep. And if it gets to the ears of the governor, we will satisfy him and keep you out of trouble. The soldiers took the money and did as they were instructed. And this story has circulated among the Jews to the present day. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. I have a good friend who went to Holy Land. I, I have never been in Holy Land. So some of you might went already. Um, but he was telling me his experience in the Holy Land and how he went to the, to the Holy Sep Sepulchre, to the tomb where we believe Jesus was um, laid. And he said, and it was very interesting because I didn't feel anything, he said. It was so empty. And when he said that, I was like, obviously, right? <laughs> obviously, what were you looking for? He's like, I don't know, I thought it would be more special, it would be more holy. He was like, I, it was empty. And I was like, that's exactly the point, right? That's exactly the point. Yes, we have what we believe is the tomb of Jesus, but it is empty, right? That's the beauty of it. We have a tomb that is empty. In Oregon, there is a church it's dedicated to Mary, I think. You used to go to celebrate Mass there. And they have, instead of having the crucifix on the back, they have the resurrection of the Lord, but not the Lord resurrected, the Lord as He is resurrecting. And so the only thing you have in the wall is a face without eyes and a hand and a feet going like this. And the first time I entered the church was like, whoa, what is that? Right? <laughs> and then someone explained to me, oh, it's actually our Lord, but not resurrected, but resurrecting. It's like, cool, never think about it. Right? I also remember the statue that is in the Vatican where the Pope gives uh, the interviews and all that, uh, the Jesus that is like this. And a lot of people it think a lot of ideas, but it's actually Jesus coming from the dead. Right? Um, very interesting. 
to think on the resurrection of Christ, knowing he has not stayed in the tomb. He actually came out of the tomb. And it's just mind-blowing, right? Now, this is the experience that we all are supposed to have. We're Christians, and we experience a resurrection too. We're going to experience a, that final resurrection when we died, and Jesus will come again, and he will resurrect us from the tomb. That's our belief. But we also experience a resurrection in our lives as well. That was the invitation that was given to people yesterday, right? Don't stay on the tomb. Come out of the tomb. Experience the resurrection of Christ. That's the experience that our brothers and sisters who were baptized this past Saturday are having as well. They have received their sacraments, and now they are experiencing the graces they received on that day. I don't know if you notice, but as you enter the church, you, we still have the smell of incense inside the church. Right? Something happened this weekend in this church and it smells different i don't know that was what i thought as uh, as i was entering this the church i was like something different happened this weekend right hopefully you experience the same thing in your lives as well that something happened that was a different weekend than all of the weekends we have experienced before because he some something happened Something did happen. That's the experience of the apostles in the gospel, right? Mary Magdalene, who experienced a lot in a single weekend. And now she's encountering the resurrected one. He's not dead. He's alive. May the Holy Spirit grant us the grace to continue experiencing the resurrection of our Lord. Because that's what makes our lives different. That's what makes Christianity be worth it. Right? Because he's alive. We don't stay in the tomb. May the Holy Spirit give us that grace. Amen. And please stand. And let us profess our faith, the faith of the whole church. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and he seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the world for the world to come. Amen. To the God who call us out of our fears, we now bring our prayers. For the church. May the Holy Spirit continue to bless and sustain all who live her holy mission. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For the people of the world, may the good news of Jesus Christ guide all nations and people to peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. 
For all who are struggling with addiction, may the healing presence of Jesus transform their lives for the better. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For all of us gathered in this holy place, may the blessings of this Easter season fill us with joy in the Lord, who calls us to be his chosen people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For all who have passed away, may the Lord grant them eternal life and may perpetual light shine upon them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For the prayers that are written in our prayer request book, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For the prayers that we hold in the silence of our hearts, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. And for our Mass intentions today, for Art Portillo, and for the repose of the soul of Blessed Conchita, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Luke, O oh God, we favor upon the prayers that your people have brought before you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our hymn for the preparation of the altar is in our blue hymnal, number 519, Sing to the Mountains, 519. <laughs> and sisters that my sacrifice of yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise of your May the grace of this Paschal Sacrament abound in our minds, we pray, O Lord, and make those you have set on the way of eternal salvation worthy of your gifts through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvations at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but on this day above all to laud your jet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is a true lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying he has destroyed our death and by rising to restore our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. May holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. 
for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis or Pope and Gustavo our Bishop, his auxiliary bishops and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, with St. Luke, and all the saints who have pleaded you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to our apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us share with one another a sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you shall enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Our communion prayer song in the blue hymnal is number 537, Easter Alleluia, 537. Another very interesting moment that I had this weekend was yesterday um, when a lady came to me and complained because the water in the baptismal font was dirty. And I said, yes! <laughs> I said, yes, that's the point! She was like, what? And I said, yeah, we just had, what, 21 baptisms? We wash people from their sins because the beauty of the resurrection because what God has done in their lives that's why that water is dirty she's like oh I, I never thought about it and I was like yeah right. I don't know if they change it already not yet, not yet. it continues to be dirty um, <laughs> exactly but their sins are dead right um, and so if, if you have the chance as you go out, because we normally put our hands inside, right? Think about it, right? There's brothers and sisters who have experienced the resurrection in a very powerful way. And those waters are just a symbol of that. It's just a sign of that. That something happened in their lives. And let us continue praying for them. Let us take a few seconds to pray for our brothers and sisters who came Catholics this weekend, 
who enter into full communion with the church, becoming Christians. And so let us pray. May the grace of this Paschal Sacrament abound in our minds, we pray, O Lord, and make those you have set on the way of eternal salvation worthy of your gifts through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. To continue announcing the resurrection of the Lord, our Mass has ended. Let us go in peace. Amen. Have a good day. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. May God protect you against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God be with you in your home, we pray. And do thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Our final hymn of praise is in the green. In the Green Journey Songs, 411. Alleluia, alleluia, let the holy anthem rise. 411. <laughs>